We named the dog Nerdist News. I'm Jessica Choba, and this is, well, you know what it is. Here we go, guys. Deadline reported that Disney is eyeing everyone's favorite spacefaring superhero turned raptor wrangler Chris Pratt to be the next Indiana Jones. And it sounds like he's finally beat out his main competitor, Bradley Cooper. Sorry, Rocket. Now the question becomes, where would this fit into the overall indie timeline? Is it a hard reboot, a prequel, a crazy pocket universe set inside that nuclear refrigerator? From what we've heard, the plan is to take the James Bond approach, turning each installment into a standalone adventure. Ironic, since Spielberg created Henry Jones after he found out that nobody would let him make a Bond film. So let's presume that we're getting standalones. What'll Junior be up to? Well, as you may or may not know, Spielberg and Lucas commissioned lots of Indiana Jones scripts over the years that never quite came to be. So let's take a look at some and see if they might be a good fit for Indiana Pratt. First up, Frank Darabont's legendary Indiana Jones and the City of the Gods. The fantastic script that eventually became the wet fart we call Kingdom of the Crystal Skull tells a much cleaner story of Indy's tussle with the Russians, ancient aliens, and his lost lady love, Marion Ravenwood. Oh, and there's no Mutt Jones in sight. Could Disney take the opportunity to kick off a standalone Indy franchise by rebooting its worst installment? Unlikely, but there is good stuff here we'd like to see explored. Heck, if the Mouse House wants to go full sci-fi with the franchise, the awesomely titled Indiana Jones and the Saucer Men from Mars would work. The script, meant to be the fourth Indiana Jones flick back in 1995, has some similar elements to Crystal Skull, like commie baddies and Area 51, but features a new love interest and lots of human-on-alien combat. The Martians are all over this script, so much so, in fact, that it was scrapped for being too similar to the then-recently released Independence Day. Independence Day, anyone? Yes, please! Whatever. But our pick of the unproduced litter, the absolutely bonkers Indiana Jones and the Monkey King. The script by Chris Columbus is like a classic indie adventure cranked up to 11. It kicks off with him solving some ghost murders in a haunted Scottish castle, then takes off to Africa where he discovers the lost garden of life and a 200-year-old pygmy named Tyke. Oh, and he rides a rhino during a chase scene with some Nazis because of course he does. Now the script was originally meant to be the sequel to Temple of Doom and takes place the year after Raiders, Plus, it's got a lot of China stuff in it, and you know what gets an expensive movie made these days? That's right, China stuff. But what do you guys think of Chris Pratt as Indiana Jones? Do you want any of these unmade indie ventures to come to the big screen? Or is JJ just gonna start from scratch when they inevitably force him to take the directing gig? Let us know in the comments below, and as promised, we're giving away an artifact Indy himself would shoot an Arabian swordsman for. It's a screen-accurate prop replica of King Joffrey's crown from Game of Thrones by Factory Entertainment. <laughs> to enter, just tweet us which house, Stark, Lannister, etc. you want to belong to with the hashtag Giveaway of Thrones. Oh yeah, and remember, you win or you die. Okay, okay, so you don't really die, but you should still enter. Click on my crown to subscribe to the Nerdist channel. Malik will tell you how to defeat trolls on play and head on over to Nerdist.com for even more Nerdist news. My name is Joffrey and I'm a little bitch boy. Dumba, 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 dumba. <laughs>